What's good guys, welcome to another episode. My name is Nicholas Maynard and I'll be your host today. Man, am I excited to show you guys this one. We're gonna be shooting a new series called The Come Up Series where we interview the best of the best within their, their chosen fields, whether it be business, sporting, you name it. Um, and man, am I excited to show you this one. We've got this guy named Abdullah. Um, he's 23 years old. This guy's a self-made millionaire. He's made heaps and heaps of money in the e-com space. And I really wanna to get to know, like, you know, the come up and how is he doing it today, you know? But hey, all I can say is come through and um, let's go check it out. Let's go. Yo, 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 my boy Nick, what's going on? <laughs> Not too bad, man, yourself? Good to see you, my brother, how Bro, are you? I'm doing well, man. Hey, cameraman, can you see this? Come check the drip, come check the drip. <laughs> yo, my question is, yeah, yeah, yeah how man. much the drip, but I, I, I can't, we can't enter okay, this, you we gonna, can't start you're this, gonna, you're, this. Gonna, you're gonna really put it on me straight away. Come on now, bro, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Shit, okay. So, um, what were we saying, shoes, yeah? Shoes, what were they on? So, shoes, Versace shoes, yeah. they're um, from Dubai, four and a half. Four and a half? Five. Australian, yeah, around there. Four and a half, like because they change colour at night as well. They go like from blue to purple. Like four fifty like? or four and a half. Four and a half, half grand. Four uh, half damn. Okay, grand. okay. Yeah, 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 pants. Yeah. Got pants are about one point two, one point three. One point two. I'm yeah. wearing pants, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. With the but these are comfy. Yeah, yeah very comfy. Uh -huh. Like bougie pants. Yeah, uh -huh. I like I like baggy pants. So. I see. I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, bro. Balmain shirt. Yeah. Balmain, Balmain jumper. Balmain. I would. About eight to nine hundred. It's an eight to nine hundred dollars, yeah. From Dubai as well. Right. Now come in, man. Come yeah. in, let me show right. you around. Thanks, man. I appreciate Easy, it. My brother. No worries. Where does it all take place? Because this uh -huh. is a nice house, but... I'm going to show you where it goes down. Uh -huh. Where's the cave? Where the money's made. Let's go, let's go. Uh -huh. This room over here? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's our office. Uh -huh. It's a bit messy. Right. But what I say is, a messy office is an office that makes money. <laughs> it's too organized, it's not making money. It's uh -huh. simple as that. Come through. You heard that here, guys. Come through, come through. A messy office is an There's office a guy, that makes money. There's my boy here, Vian, in this yeah. room. Mm -hmm. That guy is a working machine. Hey. He's got 10 brains. If I open the door now, you're gonna see him on three laptops working, doing this, doing that, doing that, all at once. Bro. That's crazy. Come through. Damn, that's come crazy. Come through, bro. Come off, man. <laughs> hey, he's be he better be here. Wow. He's bro, look at the shit. Hey, man. here he is. This, this is the on? man. Come in, come hey, in. Come in. Come come in. Come <laughs> in. Hey, this is Nick. Hey, what's good, Nick, bro? Man. Nice to meet you. What's happening? What's going on, so man? How does, so, how does operations work here, man? This, this guy. He's pretty much the operations. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. He does Google marketing, eight years plus experience. He does a lot of work online. Yeah. Um, his work online is pretty significant. Like I've seen this man work and yeah. every day that he's ever worked, he's, he's given quality work. Wow. Wakes up at 6 a.m. unlike me. <laughs> well, I wake up at 12, but I stay at night. Yeah. Like I'm a night owl guy. Yeah. I like my night, you know, my night work, but That's cool. most consistent That's guy ever. Beyond, so, yeah, so I uh, do, do some business with Abdullah, got my own marketing agency as well and, and a few different brands. So yeah, it's just, just staying busy, yeah. um, trying to convert this guy to wake up earlier. <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been a process. Um, yeah, so, so yeah. We, show, us, show us show us, that. That's yeah, what we need to say. This is their mastermind. This, got you guys got room, three laptops. Seeing some ads on a little store here. Uh, this one's pushing like four grand US today. Just today. Yeah, so did about half a mil in the last like two months or so. So yeah, just got. I'm telling got, you, he's the mastermind. Like, got you know got I mean? a few of them running, so yeah. just staying busy. I guess how is it, how important is it, you know, having this relationship with you guys? Obviously, you know, when they say you know multi-millionaire people, like they're always singular people. But you know, how, I wanted to hear about this relationship yeah. and how you've been able to. I get you, man. Like that. the thing is. A lot of people talk about like, you know, networking is important. It's yeah. like your net worth, everything. Well, for me, growing up wasn't really the case. Like, mm. I always just liked to be around the people that I grew up around. Yeah. But like with Vian, it wasn't more of like networking with the guy to try to like benefit from him, from mm -hmm. what he knows and everything. Mm -hmm. I just got to know the guy here and there through mutual friends and everything. Yeah. And then I'm like, man, this guy's like actually a good guy. He does, you know, everything. His work is like 100%, you know, mm -hmm. he does everything by the books. And like, at the same time, I really like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he showed me his side of, you know, uh, lifestyle and it was pretty humble. It wasn't arrogant. 
Um, and you know, like the guy's you know making half a mil a month. You know what I mean? Crazy. And he he, Crazy he was he never approached me in that sort of way where he was making a lot of money. Yeah. He approached me in a very humble, respectful way. Yeah. And you know that's what I liked about him because I had to discover that for myself. Yeah. To realize that man, this guy it's not about you know the numbers for him. It's more about who he is, and that's yeah. what I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think like a key takeaway is like if you make any sort of money, um, it it kind of gets to a point of where you can get very comfortable mm -hmm. where if you're living with like other high competitive people um even if it's not even business but just in life in general especially like for men mm -hmm. uh living in a very competitive environment where you can always push push each other like very hard mm -hmm. i think that's super important uh especially like um you know getting comfortable is is one of the biggest killers yeah so just staying motivated staying like um you know, very focused and pushing each other every day is like the number one key. And, and there's not much money in the <laughs> yeah. 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 Stuff, yeah. So. yeah, and I mean like the, the main yeah. thing is also like the brotherhood. Like mm -hmm. you have to be around your boys and you have to like push each other hard. And I think that's that's very important and like you know, especially if you're in a first world country like this mm -hmm. and we both don't come from first world countries, like um yeah. you can get very soft here as well. Mm -hmm. Especially because there's so much um you know, so many systems, so much comfort, yeah. um, you know, so super important to keep each other like accountable, keep each other like pushing each other very hard every day. Yeah. So we probably work now more than we've ever worked. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, man. Well, thanks, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, I know you're pretty busy, man. So great thank you. you. Hey. And uh, yeah, enjoy the house tour. I uh, <laughs> hope uh, it shows you, shows you the places in the house. <laughs> oh, so what's this room, bro? Pretty much this is a cinema room slash, you know, like, I can't go to the clubs, so we have our own club, okay? <laughs> he said he bought his own club. We made our own club, that's what we gotta do, you know, come through, come Damn, through. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, come on in, man. The Abdul specials are here? Abdul specials, uh, Red Bulls, Red water, Bulls? no alcohol. <laughs> no alcohol, no yeah. I guess, yeah. you know. This yeah. is this is dope, bro. Like, you don't many you don't see this happening in much places. So. Oh yeah, bro. I know. Like the good the good thing about this is like we're turning this place into like actually like a podcast room. Very podcast soon. room. So True. you know, like we you know we got the LEDs happening yeah. and the really setting lights. is really really nice. Like yeah. you know, so it's all coming along. But I'm really I'm really happy about it because this is like the perfect room for a podcast. That's room. cool, man. And a podcast here in this yeah. room are gonna hit different. Uh huh. I've got one two words to tell you. you the foundation. That's all you need. To the know. foundation. Don't ask questions. That's all you need. To know. You heard it here first, <laughs> the foundation. Yeah. You'll hear you'll hear uh -huh. it soon. <laughs> this <laughs> is true. like. This is pretty much the uh, cinema. Yeah. This is where you can watch, you know, movies. The good thing about the cinema room as well is like, whatever movies right now that are in the cinemas, mm -hmm. they also come over here. So like, you can watch movies that haven't been released out yet. What's your go-to? What's, what's your what's the, what was, what was the, what's your favorite movie? Like your latest favorite movie right now, trending. Ooh, like that Evil Dead movie. Evil um, Dead. It was a horror movie. And I was watching it here, but you know that day I just didn't have anyone. Everyone was sleeping. So was, you do, you come here by yourself sometimes. Yeah, I come here by myself, put the you know Red Bulls drink, <laughs> yeah, put a movie on, it's done. But yeah, that movie was so scary. Yes. Nothing yet that I've shown you. Bro. Still got a lot more to go. A lot more. So brother, this is pretty much the garage. Yeah. This is an eight-car garage. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, to where you stock up all the toys. <laughs> I can see some of them Jet here. Skis, so you... you know, SUVs, Lambos, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but um. This garage, what I love about it is compared to where back to where I, where I used to live is the privacy. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, like my cars are my cars, yeah. parked in, no one can see them except for me. Uh -huh. and that's very important for me, okay? Because we've got some very expensive toys. So. All right, let's run yeah. that. Yeah. See, this is like, it's not the comfiest. I mean, the Mercedes is a lot more comfortable I was gonna say. than this car. But look, man, this car is just perfect for driving locally. Yeah. yeah. Park it up, take the Merc out for a 10 hour drive, way better. <laughs> uh, can you drop us some gems, bro, for like, you know, any young kids that are aspiring to be, you know, where you're at? Like, give us some three tips young for what, kids. You, you know, what you do. Thing is, man, like, with young kids, it's more about what they're influenced around in their environment. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, like, if they're around the right people, if they have the right parents, if the parents are taking care of them, and they're around the right friends, 
you know, then they're good, man. Like, you know what I mean? So, thank you, man. No worries, brother. For taking no us, worries. For showing us around. No oh. worries, man. Uh, there's a lot more. <laughs> there is a lot more. This is <laughs> this is an, one level. There's, I've shown you two levels, I believe. There's it's another crazy. two levels. Another two levels. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to take you upstairs. Let's go. That's Come crazy. Yeah. Upstairs, Let's go, yeah, man. Upstairs. No, no, no. No, no, no. What do you mean? I thought you said the doors. Come through here, bro. Wait, what's this? This is an elevator. An elevator. I'm take you upstairs. I'm uh -huh. gonna continue. Let's go. <laughs> We're done with stairs. Let's go. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> we well, see up there. <laughs> So where are we now? So now, after taking the elevator, yeah. <laughs> we're in the second last top mm -hmm. floor. There's yep. one more floor above that. Yep. So I'm going to show you right now my room, and then I'll show you the next floor. Oh, the top okay. G's room. This is where all the rooms are. Mm -hmm. There's too many rooms. I'm just going to show you my room, the yep. top G room. That's it. That's all you need to see. Uh -huh. it's all Sorry, like, you yeah. said, what's happening, man? You said the top you, G room, bro. Top That's G room. You know. Look, Nick, this, I think this would be the best, like the biggest room you've ever come, to, come uh -huh. in. It's bigger than my apartment by like twice what? You know? yeah so i'm going to show you boys the top g room okay Come through. damn yeah. man <laughs> sheesh god damn look at the view uh this is the view <laughs> man's got his own private tub yeah this is uh bathtub for real got <laughs> yeah. the view of the yacht yeah. in the bathtub. background too uh oh we got a yacht this is like the busiest marina so, oh my gosh so if you want to come have a look over here <laughs> this is like this is the view from the room that's crazy man yeah Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi! You heard it here first. You heard it here first. We're talking about, you know, the come yeah. up story and, you know, yeah. how, you know, coming from where you are to, you yeah, know, now yeah, here. Yeah. Well, like, Nick, to be honest with you, it's a bit of an emotional story for me just because, like, yeah. you know, I didn't come up in the, I didn't come up from the best, you know, ever house or big house or, you know, big room like this or, mm. you know, with an amazing view like this. Or a bathtub like that. Or a bathtub like this, you yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I get pretty emotional when, I, when it comes to thinking about this because, like, to give you an example, to give you an idea, like, the office room, mm. right, that's the smallest room in the whole house. Yeah. But imagine half of that is where you're living every day. Yeah. That's what I did because, like, I lived with my family, but at the same time, when I wanted to move out, they allowed me to move out, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to live a lifestyle where I did not have much money, yeah. and I just wanted to like grow myself up from that point onwards. Yeah. So I was paying like $100 rent, <laughs> and Damn. $100 was like not easy back then for me, especially like, you know, going through, you know, yeah. calling Centrelink up for like urgent payments and yeah. all that. So you're like it's crazy, too. man. Yeah, but that was my room. It was that small. Yeah. And, you know, just my laptop was there and, you know, it was just all about the trust and the belief mm -hmm. that I knew something like this was going to work. Mm. And the only answer to it working is it is going to work. Simple yeah. as that. So the <laughs> you know belief I mean? in yourself. So yeah. trust and belief yes. that it was going to work. Yes, trust and belief. And I always said wow. it, you only lose when you give up. So. You only lose when you give up. Yeah, that's it, man. Damn, bro. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I'll show you around, bro. Come yeah. through. Bathroom. It's so it's an open bathroom, but you know, you can lock the door. <laughs> Man said open bathroom, yeah, bro. Yeah, so this is... You got two shower heads, what the three, heck? Three shower heads oh, just over here. Oh, what, they got a sensor? I didn't even know this. Yeah, they got a sensor, sensor shower head. Sensor shower head. I mean, if you're like dancing in the middle, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is where the moves were made, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the singing yeah. in the stars. Yeah, singing, singing in the stars. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Bro, man's got two. Man's got two toilets. He said three, three bathrooms, two toilets, bro. Yeah, two toilets. Like the funny thing about this is, bro. Like if you're gonna, you know, for whatever. Yeah. Bro, do you wanna come with? That's it. Question is, do, do you and Vian end up going? No way, business? man. I I'm just relax, bro. <laughs> hey, keep it alive. I'm just saying, like, bro. Sometimes you're feeling, you feeling, you feel like you wanna use the left one. Yeah. You know, it's working better. I mean, now you got options. So you got money, options. More money. I feel like options. having backups for everything is an important thing. So uh -huh. this is one way to do it. <laughs> Now what I gotta show you is the pretty much like the wardrobe. Exactly. And this is the drip. biggest wardrobe I've ever seen. So this is where they get. This is what I'm doing. I've got high drip, expectations yeah? for wardrobes uh -huh. because I'm a designer guy. You're a designer. I love my watches. Yeah. I love my, you know, um, you know Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Fendi's. I even love my diamonds. So this is where it's at, bro. Yeah, come man. Through. That's crazy. Yeah, come through.
So I guess my question is like, yeah, wow, what's the most what's the most expensive piece you got here? Well, we got a um... <laughs> yo, give me PG, yeah. Okay, look, look, <laughs> that's like, what is, it? is that real, bro? No, bro, it's fake. Yeah, but like I've seen a few people walk into this wardrobe and walk out like traumatized, thinking this is real. <laughs> Just like your reaction now, but yeah, yeah. I, was like, I didn't even expect that, bro. Just letting you guys know that no one was harmed to the making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not the most expensive thing in the wardrobe, yeah. but you know. So what is the most expensive thing? Okay, so wardrobe? like, to be honest with you, this wardrobe, mm -hmm. um, to show you what more before I show you what's the most expensive thing, yeah. you want to come through here. Mm -hmm. That's much. cool, man. Well, this is the wardrobe, yeah. and like to show you the most expensive thing. Back to your question, would yeah. be the um, Fendi puffer. Fendi I puffer. mean, other than the watches, but I'm not gonna disclose the watches because yeah. they're too expensive. But <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about the clothes, okay? Okay, okay. So this uh, Fendi puffer. Yeah. Um, I bought this from Dubai. Yeah. I think it was about nine and a half grand. Yeah. How many do you wear this much? Or? Here and there, bro. Yeah. Here and there, but you know, this is my favorite puffer. I wear. That's crazy, man. So yeah, what's this mat, man? Oh, this is this is pretty much the prayer mat, man. This is where oh. I pray. Yeah. Because I do pray five times a day. Yeah. I'm not the most religious person, but I do have my limits when oh, it so comes you're, to religion. You're Muslim. Yeah, I'm Muslim. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, we said Hamza means like all praise and thanks to Allah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, bro, like at the end of the day, this is what keeps me who I am, mm -hmm. and this is what brings out my inner self mm -hmm. and my true self. Yeah. Um, and this is what's kept me strong throughout the whole entire journey. Yeah. Even even when I used to work in that office and everything, five times per a day. I was gonna matter. Same thing right now, five times per a day. Nothing changes, man. It's just, yeah. it's the way to go because this. Is what kept me disciplined, mm -hmm. motivated, and kept me very safe. You know what I mean? Oh man! So man, it's, it's like how many levels we going up yeah, here? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Cause it's a big house. It's a big house, bro. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a workout. <laughs> bro, so this bro. is the spa area. This is the rooftop. I love this place. It's one of my favorite places in wow, the house. This is crazy, come man. Through, come the through. View. Come through. Man, come you can in. see. Look at the view on this, on man. In, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> man's got the yeah. spa. <laughs> yeah. You got the bubbles. Yeah. Nice. You come here to relax on yeah. on tough days. Yeah, or yeah long relax, days. tough days. You know. Yeah. Stress from work. Jump into this. Look at the view. Kick yeah. back. Meditate. It's really good. No, that's and cool, also, man. I just wanted to let you know, part of meditating yeah. is praying. So when I pray, it's more like meditation for me as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. No nah, man, let's go have yeah. a conversation yeah. about that because yeah. that's something I'm trying to tap into. Yeah. yeah. So Abdullah, bro, like you know, you, yeah. this place is I mean, humongous, bro. Like you know, you're showing us the accolades. I mean, the team, the team that you have, yeah. you know, the toys that you have as well from your achievements. Um, you know, based on material, personal, and also yeah. you know, you've expressed your faith as well and how important that is to you as well. Yeah. I guess you know, where like, where do you see yourself? What's your you know your three year, five year projection? Do you believe in that stuff even? See, you know? see, you got a big question for me, and the question part of this question is. We're gonna sit down there, we're gonna get a chair, two chairs, and we're gonna have a very nice conversation. Because mm -hmm. whoever's listening to this conversation is gonna be very, very inspired. To answer your question, right, in regards to what's the next, you know, three to five year projection, whatever, is I always like to think of you don't always look down, try to look up because then you can see much further. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right now with me, how I'm going, everything's going really, really well, but we've got some massive projects happening. Mm -hmm. um, and these projects are, you know, kind of, crazy for a 23 year old for me to saying. do, you know what I mean? Crazy. Um, governmental projects, council projects, yeah. online projects, massive. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean? Like age is just a number. And uh, this is part of why I always like to say, set goals for yourself and break them. Yeah. And I feel like if you break rules, that's how you're remembered. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Touching on to the second question is like, yeah. you know, the night, you know, you've, you've kind of gone through the come up. Yeah. Um, now you're at the top now. Um, What's your final advice that you'd give, um, you know, yeah. the audiences that maybe a younger youth audience that might be watching this and being like, this guy just showed us around his stuff, like, yeah. but, how, but how can I relate to this person, you know? Yeah. I don't think I'm still at the top yet. Mm. I feel like there's a lot more to it, to my journey. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, the Prophet, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is the last Prophet that, you know, that Allah sent down to us as a messenger, yeah. um, he always said something, and I really like to go by it, and he said, don't look at people above you, look at people below you. Wow. And part of that, when you look at people below you, you start appreciating what you have. Mm -hmm. You start, you know, thanking God and, you know, being appreciative of everything around you. You know, sometimes a lot of people think that when they look at people above them and things like that, it's inspiration for them. Mm -hmm. But that can turn into jealousy yeah. and that can turn into them, you know, looking at their life and rethinking their life and thinking, man, look how good this person's doing and look how bad 
my situation is, but yeah. it hurts them mm -hmm. and it demotivates them. So I feel like part of being motivated is to look at how far you've come. Yeah. Because even me, sometimes I, I forget to look at how far oh, I've you come, come, you know? Yeah. And then <coughs> whatever, when I do look at that, I realize, wow, like I've actually come a long way. Yeah. And then I look at people below me doing it a lot tougher, whatever, yeah. it's hard, whatever. And it just makes me appreciate everything. I mean, at some stages in my life, like, you know, going and out, eating, having dinner with the family, so everything. Little I do post that, about it on Instagram, yeah, say, you know, you, you know, oh, Allah, thank you so much for like allowing me to eat today. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I should be grateful for. You know yeah. what I mean? Just being able to eat. Yes, I do have the money for it. Yes, I do have the finances for it. But is it guaranteed tomorrow? No. Nah. So I'm, you know, I'm happy for it. You know. Nah, what I mean? Thank so, you, man. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. I just want to thank you so much for the uh, opportunity to, you know, yeah. allow us to come into your house. Good, man. To meet your, you know, your amazing. I appreciate crew. you coming in um, and, you know, yeah. spreading awareness, man. This is yeah. what you guys are good at doing, and, you know, you guys are onto that. So I really respect it. And Yo, my bro really out here just showing love, bro. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate and that. Whenever it comes to spreading inspiration, awareness in the right way, I'm all for it, man. So. Hey. Yeah. Hey, um, before we yeah. go, yeah, I only have more favor, yeah? yeah. Like, the, you know, we can't end the video without going for a ride in a Lambo. Oh, so yeah, that, that the, top you the top G Lambo you're talking about. The top G Lambo. The top G Lambo. We're going for a ride, man. All right, man. Thanks, guys. Right. <laughs> That's up everything, man. Yeah. yeah. This how we run it. <laughs> Fuck everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's only that car there. Problems, problems. <laughs> <laughs> Top view problems. Top view problems. This is the boy, it's Abdullah here. Uh, we're pretty on? much at the spot where it all took place, where it all started. Ecom HQ um, from the day one, from the dot. So, Abdullah, <laughs> tell us what's going on here, man. So, pretty much, this is where I used to live uh, back then, um, before obviously they, like, you know. Um, I got into the big world, which yeah. is, you know, um, going out there, you know, doing my thing, you know. Um, there, there was a lot of hopes and there was a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, there was a lot of passion here, yeah. okay, because, you know, through what I've went through, through all the hardship, everything, mm. there was a lot of, you know, I would say ego to really try to push out there and just, you know, make it and just, you know, work hard and, yeah, yeah. bro. So, this was the place, this is where I used to live, in the back of... Someone's come house. Show us, yeah. Come show us. Yeah, it's hey, it's exclusive content. We'll no one's ever seen the spot yet. We hear we hear about this in the stories yeah. about Abdullah, but you know no one's ever seen the spot now. So yeah. everyone, let's come check come it out. Through. Yeah, let's come let's through. Come through. <laughs> <laughs> at the back here. He used to cut wood here. Yeah. <laughs> he used to cut wood, and I used to uh, like sit down with him and help him out. I'm like, one day, <laughs> one day, yeah. we're going to both make it out. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, my God. That's hectic. It's a big spot. Wow. It's here. Oh, that's the kitchen. Oh, he's he's blocked it off. Come, come, come. It's a massive house. So this is your spot. This is where you start around and hiding. Oh, I think, bro, Garashi. He actually changed it, eh? It was, it was the entrance was from here back yeah, then. Yeah. It was just a small door. Yeah. But now I think he's changed the entrance to there. So. I think it's always been oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been around. It's been around. I forgot. I forgot where. It's been a while. I thought it was here. It was back there. It's a big house. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, he was confused. He thought the door was back there. <laughs> this is him, by the way. This is him. This is the man I used to. We're just shooting some content for um, Abdullah's um, channel underneath our, our clothing brand and what we're doing here at the movement. So we okay. want to showcase where he's come from and then where he's at right now so we can help inspire our community to be able to step out and also achieve their goals as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 doing yeah. A video huh? showing where I used to live, everything. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my mentor, yeah. Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi, thank you, <laughs> thank you so go. much. Thank you so much, sir, for allowing us to be here. Thank you. Um, appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're going to the back. We're uh -huh. going to see the back. Is it open? Yeah. So where the that table is, I have a video actually. Yeah. Um, you guys can see the video in the overlay. It's pretty much on this table on the right, if yeah. you want to get it through. Yeah. That table on the right. 
is where I used to sit and do all my work and my e-commerce stuff. So, yeah, all my e-commerce stuff was here. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any like um? The breeze was too nice here. That's all I can say. Breeze was amazing. Some people out here manifesting. Do you believe in that manifestation stuff? Do you have like photos of what you wanted to be like? I've always look. I've genuinely always wanted to be like a sort of a role model to a lot of people. Yeah. A leader in some sort of way and to show the people that you know you can do it the right way mm. okay because it's easy to do it the wrong way and to be honest with you people these days they look down they don't look up so they don't look far they yeah. just want to get it done yeah. you have to look far how, how far this is going to take you always when you're ever starting anything mm. don't look down because this is only sight by sight it's too nearby yeah look far ahead and then you'll understand your later down, where you're going to be <laughs> later down the line so yeah, you can honestly man you have control of your own life yeah you really do and if you want to live that life you can live that life no, it's just about that, working man. for it man you obviously gave us a little tour, a little um, story behind, you know, where you started. But we didn't cover how long, how long ago this was, you know, because obviously everyone might think, you know, you've been at this for like the last 20 years, or since how long? You no, know? I, it was about three, two and a half, three years ago. Yeah. I was, uh, so pretty much, yeah, it was a bit before COVID. And then, um, like, I would say it was, it was for like about a year I was here. Yeah. It was a year, yeah. A solid year. Damn. Yeah. How much was rent back then? Oh. Obviously now we're living in a, yeah. a day now where the price is the big thing, bro. So yeah. Bro, rent back then was like a hundred dollars. Bro, what? A week. Yeah. I mean when I first came here the owner of this place asked me for a hundred dollar bond. What? <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, I just couldn't afford the hundred dollars bond and I was like you couldn't I just, even afford a hundred dollar bond. So I just had I had a I had two hundred dollars honestly in my bank account, like straight up. Damn. I was like, I need a hundred to give him and a hundred to use for the week. Yeah. And then yeah, I just had to like I was calling, you know, obviously like, you know, the help agency, Centrelink, all that, just mm. try to get my way out um, and, you know, just survive, man. So, yeah, it's crazy, it was guys. a struggle. It's the beauty in it. Yeah. The dollars, bro. Man didn't dollars. have enough for the bond. He had to survive the week. Yeah. He literally said $100 in and then for $100 to survive with himself. So, guys, all I'm trying to say is, yeah, it took him th three years, bro. It's only been three years in the game and he's been able to himself to the next level so what's stopping you guys what's stopping yourself why can't you level up you know ask your question ask yourself those questions what is it you know that's it man yeah, yeah it's all about you know perseverance consistency and staying t put to what you want to do bro yeah, do what you want to achieve so stay yeah. consistent that was it that was it just having that one thing one focus pushing into that and then no, I respect yeah. that, man. Hey, Abdullah, no, 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 appreciate you, bro. No worries, bro. Just want to say a quick shout out to my boy Audrey. Um, the boy came through and shot this whole video for us and really made this thing happen. Um, if you guys really enjoyed it as much as I did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, baby. Let's go.